whereas the original Lamborghini Urus marked the brand's arrival into the modern high-performance SUV segment. The 2025 Urus takes a similar step into the brave new world of electrification. Specifically, the new for 2025 Urus SE employs a plug-in hybrid, PHEV powertrain. A twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 provides the internal combustion part of the equation, while a 192-horsepower electric motor represents the electric component. The peak combined output is an impressive 789 horsepower. More than just a power grab, the hybrid powertrain takes some of the peaks and valleys out of the torque curve, which should improve tractability. The smallish 25.7 kilowatt per hour battery pack provides the option of EV only operation. And while no official range figures are available, Lamborghini hints its European spec rating will be 37 miles which will probably be reduced to approximately 21 miles in EPA testing. Otherwise, the Urus SE receives a roster of exterior cosmetic and tech updates, including a restyled liftgate, front and rear diffusers, and a mildly updated interior that doesn't stray too far from the previous gas-powered Urus. In short, the Urus SE delivers all the same aggressive Lamborghini style and swagger, packaged in a four-door SUV body, as ever, but with the added benefit of EV-only operation and a more versatile torque curve. For buyers who aren't quite ready for a hybrid Lamborghini, the Urus S and Urus Performante will continue into 2025 unchanged, but this model year will be their last. In addition to the hybrid powertrain, the Urus SE premieres the mid-cycle facelift, that includes adaptive matrix LED headlamps, a power dome hood, a restyled liftgate sporting a pronounced center crease, restyled bumpers and diffusers, more Y pattern graphics, and a choice of over 100 different paint colors. 23 inch Galanthus wheels shod with 285 35 front and 325 30 rear Pirelli P0 tires join the option list. A larger 12.3-inch touchscreen offers improved responses and voice control, though thankfully the Urus SE retains a decent amount of hard toggle switches and a cool caged starter button. The price of the 2025 Lamborghini Urus is expected to start around $245,000 and go up to $275,000 depending on the trim and options. You could save some coin by going with the standard issue Urus S but that means you'd also miss out on maximum performance. We'd pick the new SE Hybrid, which boasts the most horsepower of any Urus model and is likely to be the quickest of the bunch. The non-hybrid Urus models are powered by a 657 horsepower twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8, which burbles deeply when idling and absolutely howls under full throttle. Permanent all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission conspire with all that power to enable fantastic acceleration. The Urus SE's plug-in hybrid powertrain comprises a 620-horsepower, twin-turbo, 4.0-liter V8 mated to a 192-horsepower electric motor setup that is closely related to the 739-horsepower powertrain of the Porsche Cayenne Turbo E Hybrid. In the Lamborghini, this powertrain produces a combined output of approximately 800 horsepower and 701 pound-feet of torque, all funneled through an 8-speed automatic transmission with standard all-wheel drive. Maximum torque is available from approximately 1,750 revolutions per minute all the way to 5,750 revolutions per minute. The electric motor provides 356 pound-feet of torque right from step-off, assisted shortly thereafter by the twin-turbo V8. Output peaks at 6,000 revolutions per minute. The Urus feels athletic from behind the wheel too, with quick steering and stable high-speed cornering. With air springs at all four corners, the Urus has adjustable ride heights based on its various drive modes. Standard carbon ceramic brakes ensure that the Urus stops as well as it goes. 
braking from 70 miles per hour to a stop in 149 feet. In our testing, the Urus rocketed to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and tore up the quarter mile in 11.3 seconds at 121 miles per hour. The performance model proved to be 0.1 seconds quicker to 60 miles per hour in our testing. Lamborghini claims a 3.4 second zero to 60 run for the Urus SE. Stay in it and you'll reach 125 miles per hour in 12.5 seconds. Given the performance of the non-hybrid models, we think Lamborghini's estimates here are on the conservative side. The Urus has never been overly concerned with fuel efficiency, and the S and Performant Editions are EPA rated for 14 miles per gallon city and 19 miles per gallon highway. Given the SE PHEV powertrain similarity with the Porsche Cayennes, we're expecting an EPA figure somewhere around 40 miles per gallon and a combined gasoline only number around 18 mpg. We'll update this with real world fuel economy numbers and subject the Urus SE hybrid to our real world mpg on our 75 mpg highway fuel economy route as soon as we get a chance. Inside, Occupants are treated to a dramatic cabin that's classic Lambo. Jet fighter design cues abound, with the start button hiding beneath a red flip cover and the shifter looking like a jet's throttle. To the left of the shifter are levers that control the drive modes and allow customizable performance settings. There is plenty of faux suede and carbon fiber trim, while the infotainment system and reconfigurable gauges are straight out of an Audi. The back seat has good passenger space and can fit either two or three people depending on which seating configuration is selected. Interior cubby storage is highlighted by useful door pockets and a bin behind the floating center stack. The Urus also offers up to 22 cubic feet in its cargo area, but that drops by two cubes with the optional rear bucket seats. Every Urus is packed with the latest connectivity and infotainment features. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, and also comment down below. Thank you.